Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And in this video lecture, we'll be talking about the difference between three kingdoms, the modern three kingdoms that we know in the classification of organism. One is bacteria, second one archaea, third one eukarya. What are the difference between these three different kingdoms? So let's talk about that. All the modern organisms that we know of, all the organisms now are categorized into these three kingdoms. And in these three kingdoms, they have a broad range of difference between themselves. Even if you go inside each of the kingdom, for example, if you dig inside the eukarya only, you will find so many diversification. Okay? So, the diversification present between eukarya and bacteria or eukarya and archaea is huge. So, let's look at them. Now, in this case, first let's talk about the difference, then I'll talk about how exactly they are originated and what are their phylogenetic tree look like. First thing about bacteria. Bacteria are prokaryotic organisms. Okay? Prokaryotic organisms and they come much earlier at the time of evolution. Okay? And they are very smaller, tiny organisms. We cannot see them with our naked eye. Okay? And they don't, if you look at the cell of bacteria, they most of them, I mean all of them are single cellular organisms. Okay? So let me write those things. The features of prokaryotes all included in bacteria. So they are prokaryotes, single cell orga organism. They don't have any cell organelle. no cell organelle okay and they don't have any nucleus and they have peptidoglycan layer let me change the color here in their cell wall okay this in a sense i can tell about the basics and they are sensitive to what is known as antibiotics. Okay? This is in a sense the characteristic of bacteria. Now, if you look at the difference between bacteria and archaea, you will find so many differences. Archaea, on the other hand, are eukaryotic cells. Okay? So, you know the difference of eukaryotic and prokaryotic here. They are eukaryotic organisms. And in eukaryotic organism means eukaryotes, so they are multicellular organisms, but there are some single cell eukaryotes also there known as the parasites. Single cellular eukaryotes are also found, but multi or single. So let me write them here. Okay. They have organelle membrane bound organelles like example mitochondria chloroplast for example this eukarya have cell membrane and cell wall so they can have membrane and wall all this prokarya have cell wall in it but not all the eukaryotes all the bacteria have cell wall in it but in all not all eukarya have the cell wall they have the cell membrane, some of them have the cell walls, for example, plants have cell, cell wall, you, mm, eukaryotic animals do not have cell wall, they have cell membrane. Even if they have cell wall, there is no peptidoglycan found, no peptidoglycan found. They obviously have a nucleus where uh, the chromosomes are there. DNA is condensed and wrapped around histones to make a format of chromosome and stored there. So, these are the major difference between bacteria and eukarya and they are resistant to antibiotics. Antibiotic resistant. Okay? And they have the cell membrane. Cell membrane is, is made like phospholipid bilayer. And those phosphates which are placed with the phospholipid bilayer, they are linked with ester linkage in the eukaryotes as well as in prokaryotes. In both this case, they have a membrane, lipid membrane, which is ester linked. Now, the third one, archaea. Archaea is a very interesting 
kingdom. Why it is interesting? Because Archaea carries features of Eukarya and some features of bacteria. It's kind of a middle thing. Now earlier it was thought as Archaea much look like bacteria, they are more like their structures uh, like bacteria, so they might be very much closely related with bacteria. But now it's found out that Archaea is even more close to Eukarya than it's close to bacteria. So the relation of Archaea and Eukarya is much close. So let's look why. If you look at Archaea from, from the side, I mean from overview, Archaea are also prokaryotes. They also have a single cell. They don't have that much of complicated cell and machinery. So these are, let me write it with the red color here, single cell prokaryotes. These are the characteristics that are m m matched with the bacteria, mixed with bacteria type. Okay, so they don't have any such of cell organelles, membrane bound, no mm, chloroplast, no mitochondria in archaea. They don't have any nucleus. Now the difference they have with bacteria is that archaea have similarities now with eukarya. What are the similarities? There is no peptidoglycan found as a layer of archaea. So no peptidoglycan layer. This is no peptidoglycan in the cell wall. Okay? And archaea is also antibiotic resistance. Antibiotic which are going to kill bacteria, if you give the same antibiotic to archaea, it will survive, it will not be killed. But there are some antibiotic which are eukaryotic antibiotics, that means the antibiotics that can kill eukaryotic cells. If you give those antibiotic, it is going to kill archaea. You know, this is the similarity between eukarya and archaea. Another difference of archaea which is completely different than bacteria and eukarya is that archaea, archaea have ether link between the phosphate, the, the membrane. The membrane they have, the membrane is slightly different in structure, their lipid composition is also different. Now that membrane, you know the phospholipid membrane which is also found in archaea there, uh, those phospholipid linkage normally in for bacteria and eukarya I told you are the ester linked, the phosphate and the lipid linkage, the fatty acid link. But if the phosphate with the fatty acid link in archaea is ether link, okay? That is the difference which is not found in both eukarya and, and, and uh, bacteria. Now in archaea, the complete another unique feature of archaea and why we take archaea in completely different kingdom, archaea can survive one of the harshest I and mean, dangerous climates in the world. It could be hot air, I mean uh, hot springs, it could be hydrothermal vent, it could be volcanic eruption and after the volcanic eruption from the lava even, if you check there will be some archaea living there. They can tolerate very extreme climates and extreme conditions that no one dare to go like bacteria or eukarya, but archaea can somehow survive. That is their major feature, that's why, that's what keeping them completely safe, completely different compared to the bacteria and eukarya of this unique ability of surviving in the harsh conditions. And in this case, you now if we look how they are originated over the time, it is going to give us the idea about who is linked with who. The idea here is, if we begin, uh, I don't think, uh, let me draw it here. It starts with a single point which is known as Luca here. This is Luca. Luca means last unknown common ancestor. That is the part where we have a branching. The branching we have here, it produces bacteria. Then another branch straights go. This is the division process. One single terminal, two branches, one make bacteria, another one straight goes. And have another branching after some years later, uh, not some, it was thousands and thousands of years later. And then have another branch. The second branch we have, this is the archaea, sorry, and the, this one is the eukarya. So now you see why eukarya is much closely associated with archaea, because they are originated from a common ancestor. 
but bacteria is not associated with archaea with any common ancestor they are separated in thousands and thousands of years separated by that's why eukarya and archaea is much closely placed and you know this drawing is very important keep this thing in your mind because this is very very important to understand about how the evolution takes place in the large scale there okay so archaea the the idea of all this in bacteria is a kind of clear to us eukarya is clear to us but for archaea some properties of archaea some unique why and how they survive in those climates and those conditions they are ex in the extensively studied methods and but but they have some something like uh, they can survive in those situations there their their nucleic acid contents are studied but not that much difference but how exactly what is the mechanism by which they are surviving yet need to be discovered and we are doing a lot of research on archaea to talk about that but they are interesting to talk about because kind of a mixing of eukarya and bacteria thing there okay that's why they survive in this uh, time over there so that in a sense is the difference between eukarya eukarya archaea and bacteria and i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button definitely subscribe to my channel and share share this video with your friends in all the social networking sites that you are in thank you